Good afternoon, friends. Stephen and Yana Benoon here on Israeli News Live. And today we are joined by some very special guests uh, with us, Mia and Richard Finnegan. Uh, some of you guys will probably recognize them right off the bat. Uh, Mia is a former Olympian. And uh, I'm going to let them describe what the technicalities of those are, because I'll already have forgotten it by the time I started <laughs> speaking about it. And Richard is a former um, gladiator in the first season of The Gladiator when that came out there. But uh, they have their lives have gone around the world in so many different directions over the years. And we are we know them and just are just now getting to know them because uh, part of the LifeWave products that we have been representing and talking to you guys about, uh, this amazing couple has been in the fitness industry for decades now. Uh, they are very strong advocates and uh, also promoters of LifeWave products. Thank you guys uh, for joining us here today. Welcome. Well, thank you so much for having us. We, like we said, we feel very honored to to be on here and be able to serve your audience. Thank you so much. Now, if you can't, Mia, because I I know I would butcher it if I tried to explain what <laughs> you actually you won the first uh, Olympian, but it was if you can explain that a little bit. Sure, sure. So what I won was the first Miss Olympia fitness. And uh, if you know bodybuilding, there's the Mr. Olympia, and then there's a women's bodybuilding Olympia. And then they created the Miss Olympia fitness um, to kind of give girls who had a little bit more of an athletic physique a chance against the women who were very, very muscular. Uh, so uh, yeah, so that's what I won. I won the very first one in 1995. And um, yeah, it's been a blessing because like, like we were talking about earlier, you know, it, it, able, it enabled me to have a platform to be able to share all around the world, share my my faith, my fitness, wellness, uh, all around the world. So very, very yes. blessed. And because uh, I've watched so many different uh, shows you've been on, I was looking at some of those today, uh, going back and of course, you know, watching you do those handstands, those flips and all that kind of good stuff. And I'm like, my body was hurting just watching. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, that had to hurt. And I'm thinking, boy, you really need LifeWave now, don't you? Right. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and Richard, so you were you were in the first season of The Gladiator. What was that like? Well, no, hey, that that was one of the many great experiences we had. It was uh, it's always good to be on the cutting edge of it. You know, we wanted to do some things in the fitness industry, like Mia said, and that opportunity came along to try out an audition and. Uh, so went out and just to be, you know, that obviously took off like a, a, a hurricane and it was super popular. So it was just really a great experience uh, to be behind the scenes and learn and and get those experiences. And and as Mia's she, career, as she talked about, she won the she was the first fitness Olympia, but she was a world champion. She's won over 20 type national and world competitions. And so I was coaching her going through that process. And, you know, he, hand in hand through the process. It was so fun to be able to pour into that. You know, you think, okay, gladiators. Well, she was winning some championships and we had fun, you know, traveling the world and, and spreading, spreading the good word around. So uh, it was, it was a great experience. One of many, when we, we lived out in LA right after college, it was a, it was good experience in that and, crazy. And world I did, I saw exactly what you're saying. I was looking at, uh, is like one after another, after another, after another, win, first place, second place here, back and forth, constantly winning those different awards. And, and, and so you realize the dedication it has to take to stay fit, stay in shape. Uh, but I would imagine much like, uh, I mean, we've had Todd on and Shannon, we've had uh, Jason on, and of course, Todd being a uh, college basketball player, Todd a a college soccer player, things like that. They talk about their injuries and stuff. So no doubt you guys have got to have some aches and pains after all of that uh, time doing the fitness uh, world and training. So I guess at this point, what we want to ask you is um, how did uh, uh, X39 patches help you? Absolutely. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Can I can I share a little bit? First? Yeah, let, let him share first because because he has more um more artificial joints <laughs> than I do. I have no artificial joints. He has them well, all. <laughs> and I think you know you mentioned those highlights, right? But you know, if in life, it's it's how we handle the low lights that really matters. You know, and you know, Mia won a whole bunch of championships. I played college sports as well, and but it's those games. It's what we did when we lose is what really matters, and and how we come through it, and. And I think, you know, super fortunate to be sharing 
and have these products because we we had some adversity and and we've we've all had ups and downs you know it's it's not always first place and um to seeing seeing Mia come through a number of things with adversity and uh one thing we wanted to share is we we recently 5 years ago we lost our son we chatted a little bit about that earlier we lost our son suddenly he was killed and um so it's been a hard road that was 5 years ago like unimaginable and um you know you get down to the point where we're on your knees and you're like, okay, what am I going to do? How are we getting through this? And, you know, I, I said to myself today, like when you look at those situations, like, hey, what am I going to do about it? But then when we get with God on it and, and I believe, you know, we reaching many people around the world, it's not one particular religious faith, but you know, you think about bringing God into your life. What are we going to do about it? You know, what can we do alone? Right. But when we can do things, when we have that divine intervention, working in our life like that's what we found so like cool once and things but it's what did we do when we lost <laughs> you yeah. know what i mean yeah. and and most recently before i throw it to mia is we after we lose lost our son we're just like god you know what do we do great what what are our talents what are our best skills how can we serve the how can we serve the most people and we knew it was going to be health and fitness and wellness related for sure we've been in that for 35 plus years and then our good friend Andy reached out to us and he said, hey, I have this thing, this this X39 thing. I love the science, the research, having a degree equivalent of exercise physiology. I'm like, send me the stuff. I want to see the science. I want to see the studies. Testimonials are great, which mm. we're going to talk about, but it's those that science. And we knew the combination of those is what moved, moved that forward. And, and then here we are to the point where we put those patches on. For me personally, at age 62, with two artificial joints in my neck, of artificial right knee and an artificial left hip and do for another left knee re re seeing the reduction of pain of, of inflammation that it caused and then you go look at the clinical you look at the data on it it shows the reduction of inflammation that i could go actually jog on the beach again cognitive function the energy level without the caffeine i shouldn't be having memory. as much me <laughs> memory i shouldn't be taking as much <laughs> caffeine in right so all those things you know caffeine and your memory your cognitive function sleep to be at 62 and sleep through the night maybe wake up one time super super impactful and um those are the typical things that we're seeing strength increases recovery and just general you know we did we experienced ptsd because of our loss and to to have that brain balance back where it's like you know what you start to notice that the sky's blue again you know that's what it was for us to come through there wasn't a lot of light and then to to feel restored in that way that you just you know the sense of gratitude for things because we know that's the answer that's how we got through everything is having faith and being grateful and then when you do that things happen things open up you know and that's what happened with x39 that it fell into our lap through our friend but mia please go ahead i appreciate you letting me uh, let share me, that before yeah. we jump with mia let me just yeah. share something with you real quick as well because with what you guys went through with your son um, two years ago, we had a similar situation with my father-in-law. He was murdered and my, we watched what happened. And of course, my wife realized it more because it was a medical murder. And we, we say murdered homicide, I guess would be the better way to put it because, you know, there has been, I, and I'm not at liberty to speak about it yet, but the the evidence is now there that it, that's exactly what happened and my wife went into severe complex ptsd as a result and for two years i've watched her be in the worst shape you could ever imagine i mean she's not appeared on camera nearly for two years uh when she was always right here with me and uh and a good day you could tell from her face it was horrible and um, and when I started putting these patches on her, I did it not thinking anything about PTSD. I knew she suffered migraines and, and a friend of mine had sent them to me and just he told me, so just try it, Steve. I, and I told him, I said, I don't promote products. I've only promoted one product in 15 years. I've been on on the news. Uh, but I said, but, you know, I said, if it works and I believe in it, I would promote it. And uh, and within about a week, uh, she had to run back to Tennessee. We were back and forth between Florida and Tennessee. And uh, and when she got to, got home after a couple of days, she didn't have the patches because I wasn't there to put them on her. And she goes, what is that you're, you were putting on me? She said, because 
I think that's causing my PTSD to lift. So you tell a little bit about that, mm -hmm. if you can share that with, with, with yeah. them as well. Absolutely. Well, it's not like that you forget the experience or that you're not sad uh, over what happened, mm -hmm. but PTSD has a very specific symptoms and uh, they're hard to bear actually to live with. Uh, and uh, also it's uh, our mind is affecting the body. Yep. So with the PTSD, I went into a severe bone pain and muscle pain and migraine headache. So it was like a combination of everything that mm -hmm. I didn't have a hope for anymore to even recover. Uh, but yes, when Steve was putting those patches on me, and I, at first I really didn't believe in, in anything like that. It's, mm -hmm. I was kind of laughing him off, you know, <laughs> like, why would this little patch help me? I, but I never tough. looked into this. I never took a time to even look into what it is. So, yes, when I missed it, when I didn't have it, well, at, at first I started to do things that I never done. Like mm. a day was better, but I still didn't connect it to the patch. Right. I just thought I have a better day, but I started to do more homeschooling with my daughter. I started to do cleaning. There was more hope for the future. It's hard to kind of explain. It's just everything was brighter suddenly after several days after patching. Mm -hmm. But then when I didn't have it, the symptoms returned quite quickly. And I connected the patch to me feeling better. So I called him and I said, you have to eat an overnight that patch or come here right away with those patches mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I, need, I need them like... That, that was the patch. That's the only thing I did different was that patch that you put on me. So, of course, I got hold of those patches that I never missed since then. And I can tell you that my PTSD is about 80% improved. Fantastic. Wow. And it's constant. It's improving. Yes. But then I added some more patches. You know, I added X49 as well. And I added some kind of yeah. and Eon. I added Eon. Mm -hmm. And I think that you are wearing Eon right here, right? Is yes. that Eon? Yes, I am. Yes. Because I know that that's the acupuncture port point for Eon patch. So uh, everything got just so much better. And not to mention that my bone pain and my muscle pain completely left me. Yeah. And like I virtually have no migraines at all and this she's like, had migraines since she was a little girl yeah but i had migraines with ptsd three yeah, times a yeah. week it, yeah, it was, was really like bad. constant constant well now i don't even need refill on medication because i didn't use up mine i mean i don't have migraines now about eight weeks at all none oh, so that, uh, that is absolutely incredible that's what yes. made us a believer and, yes. and yeah. my mine has been slower but after what i've seen with her and then our daughter and the cyst leaving her foot, our yeah. daughter, all kinds of things. Very many so. other unexpected things right. are happening that we just didn't expect. Yep. But our 15 year old started to do uh, X39 patch very regularly for her anxiety. Mm -hmm. But next thing, she had a TMJ, you know, jaw mm -hmm. issues that we were thinking about going to physician and trying to do something for her. She suffered so much. And that was completely unexpected. She is reporting, mom, she says yesterday, in fact, was like a new thing. She's saying, oh my God, in a car. And I felt, you know, I turned and I thought she's going to tell me she has pain. And she says, <laughs> she says, mom, my TMJ is like gone. I can, I can move just, I have no pain. Uh, I'm, what else would that, you know, be the only can say the only thing she has done different was that she's using that X39 patch. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. And listen, you, yeah, you, everything you're sharing with us, and especially since we've been using all the patches now for the last 11 months is it's undeniable results. Mm -hmm. And that's where like people keep saying to us, it's amazing. It's incredible. It's, you know, outrageous. I'm like, no, it's undeniable. Yep. Like you cannot make this stuff up like that's why when you say like what it's doing for people like your ptsd absolutely positively that was the first thing that it did for me like wow. you said ptsd so i put it on my so just so you know i, I you see one the one that i have on my shoulder that's oh, yes. I, I wear it on my shoulder that's my sweet spot because i had nasty shoulder pain like you said you know years of i was a college i went all the way you know till i was 21 as a college gymnast 
Then I competed in the fitness, like you said. Six ten, concussions in college. Six concussions in college. Oh my uh, gosh. I competed in fitness for 10 years and I tumbled on hardwood fl floors across the world. I couldn't stop. I loved every second of it, but it caught up with me. So my shoulder was a mess. All four rotator cuff tendonitis, biceps tendonitis. I have a torn labrum in there. But when Andy told me he had a frozen shoulder and he put the patch on it, you know, got better. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, my shoulder's going to get better. Well, the first, the first day I said to Rich, I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like I have Windex in my brain. I feel like, like the clouds parted. And then, then me being a Northeasterner originally, I'm from Rhode Island. And I said, it's a placebo. That's what I said. I was like, how can, right? How can this little thing, right? How can this little thing do that? So I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a chance. So three days later, still like, I felt so good. I felt the, the way I describe it to people, I said, I felt lighter and brighter. And as you know, with PTSD, it will, it will come and it will hit you like a tidal wave out of nowhere. I'll be sitting at a stoplight. It doesn't even matter. It just comes out of nowhere. And do I have sad days? Like you said, do we have sad days? Yes. I always, I would never say I have a bad day. So I always say I have good days and I have sad days sometimes, but so many of the good days outweigh the sad days now. Um, and I just feel so much better. So I tell everybody about that. So that was the first thing that affected. I was like, I want to go to my shoulder. My shoulder's in pain. So about 30 days in my pain and my shoulder went from about nine to a five. And then 60 days in my pain went from about a nine to a one. And I always keep it at a one because I do have a torn labrum inside there. Mm -hmm. Is it going to heal that? I don't know. Um, it doesn't matter. The pain from all the inflammation is gone. Um, I sleep better. I'm 57 years old. I'm at the tail end of menopause. So I sleep better now. Um, I'm sleeping through the night. I feel great. I feel like I've reversed age. Now I use X39. I use an X49 on the back of my neck. Um, and then I intermittently use some of the other patches that we talked about. Um, but yeah, it's just been game changing. Uh, also, last March, this is when I started, I broke my thumb skiing. I had an evulsion fracture, it's called. And the doctor said, well, for your age, I was like, why are you talking about my age? He said, for your age, he said, I'm like, I hate when people like associate age with like healing or age with anything. I'm like, listen, I might be 57, but I feel like I'm 35. So don't say anything about age. So, but he was a young doctor. So he said, for your age, it's going to take about eight weeks to heal and about eight weeks of therapy. So I was like, all right, well, I put the patch right there, right, like right next to where I busted it. Four weeks later, I go in and he says, you know, how's everything going? I'm like, look, I don't even need my splint anymore. He's like, wow, that healed up quite quickly for your age. Right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, stop bringing age into it. So, but then I was like, you know what? I, I do know that my body doesn't heal as quickly at this age, right? Right. It's just natural. Our, our stem cell production is less, but the fact that it healed in four weeks, cause I had the same fracture on this thumb three times and it did take like eight to 12 weeks to heal back in the day. Yep. So I know. And um, yeah, so. That's well, but it is the, and the body's ability to heal itself is, it is miraculous. We know that. And yeah. so when we know what we're doing, if you look at the day and here I come in, the, you know, we, I was leading the science charge with it, but you know, with age, our copper peptide levels decrease, right? So, so that copper peptide level decreases. And when you go do your research, which we're so excited about, is that just find out what GHKCU, find out what copper peptide does. People yeah. don't really understand that yeah. now. And when you understand, it's like, what? This is what GHKCU does. It's an end, you know, within our body, it's a, a three amino acid together that has so many properties. And early on in the research, like we're just looking at it. I'm looking at things at night. I'm in the other room, just laying there reading some things. And I'm yelling from the other room all of a sudden because we see all these great this healing like people will testimonials, re, re, testimonials right? reduction of of these symptoms and things like that and i'm in the other room i yelled at mia mia it's about copper peptide it's about <laughs> these copper peptides and that's really where with it's groundbreaking stuff that we have the ability imagine if we had the ability to elevate our copper peptide levels wow <laughs> right? right so well, that's you know that's what's yeah. fascinating because when we were listening to david schmidt and he was we were looking at the science study that he did about the X49. And, okay. and oddly enough, you know, because one person had wrote my wife and she said, uh, my daughter said that, you know, they're just trying to sell you another patch is all there is. A gimmick is what it is. And I'm like, what? 
You know, I mean, the big thing that we saw right off in the very beginning, everybody was focused on X39. And yes, it is an amazing patch yes. because it does stimulate the stem cells that we all need. You know, but we we became diamonds. And so we got a lot of different patches because we wanted to try it. We're like, you know, the products are there. What are they for? What do they do? You know, and then we noticed everything that we touched worked. I mean, if you had ice wave and you had pain, you want to get rid of the pain, it will get rid of the pain without having to deal with all the pharmaceutical drugs. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we were listening to David talk about the X49 and what you were just talking about was it the PKU or something. Oh, by the way, my uncle's name, Terry Sapp. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, told oh, you. I, I told you, I told you it would come when you're no, not even thinking. <laughs> that's it, right? When I don't want to think about it is when it comes to me. See, so there's anyway, that cognition, memory, memory. There you go. That's the carnosine. So <laughs> I had too many things go on my mind right now. So that's what I, that's why I know why I went to a blank. But anyway, um, so the whole thing was we were looking at what he was saying on the science on, on the X49. And one of the things that he talked about is he said when they were doing the studies, he said, like, for example, he said, we found that vegans tend to be low on their copper inside their bodies, which makes it a little bit more difficult for the uh, X39 to function. He said, but as long as they're doing a high bean and um uh, oh, cool. tofu diet he said it'll balance out i think it was alanine as well yeah alanine, alanine right Beta so, alanine, yeah. so i went down and i'm like gosh well i'm not a vegan but i'm like i'm gonna go get me some doggone uh collodial copper and start taking collodial copper you know because i'm like maybe that you know so you, you have to think about nutrition as well and you guys are brilliant in this industry you already know to think about all those things in right. advance yeah. Well, it, it's so funny you said that because I think I watched that exact same yeah. one on David and I went and got um, copper glycinate in one of his, it was one in one of his YouTube um, interviews. And he said, absolutely. You can definitely supplement with. And so next day I'm like, I'm getting some copper glycinate because if my copper levels are low, even though I eat super well and I do eat a lot of, you know, uh, animal products, but I wanted to get that up. I'm like, so the yes. X39 could work better yep. if my copper levels are a little higher. Okay, right. I'm all for it, right? And so it's so it's that understanding of the body that you know, and obviously what we like to speak about is elevation of GHK of copper level. Uh, we we want to make sure we're not getting into that stem cell world because the the medical world wants to own that right now. To you know, so we're just sensitive about about how we handle that, but we can biohack our body. Like when we strength train, when we do cardiovascular exercise, when we keep a low sugar diet, when we get the right amount, when of, we sleep. Get the right am right amount of sleep, we're elevating all those healing mechanisms within our body. You know, we can't just beat our body down. We want, you see what you see, and you know the greater twin studies, you see lifestyle of twins because they have the same genetic makeup, but when some do, maybe they smoke or they drink or they don't, they, they don't exercise and you see right. them age at a different rate. And so there's things we can do and, and supplementation is something we believed in, you know, for years that we do a lot of with our customers and clients, et cetera. And yeah, and it's super, super excited to see him talking about that, about how we can enhance nutritionally uh, to make the patches work even more, you know, everything yeah. we do. And anytime we can keep our, those levels higher and the patch is going to, it's going to act like a catalyst to increase that that's we're all in on that you know yeah. so yeah from, because we tell our uh, listeners always that patches don't heal anything but they're yes. a tool they're a tool yes. for your body to wake up your innate healing mechanisms they're god-given into your body already like you know, those dormant stem cells, by the age of 60, you have 90% lost or you don't have them at yeah. all. Uh, yeah. By the age of 80, for sure, you don't have them. So there is no reason for that. We can keep activating those stem cells. And now we have a patch that does that. Yeah. And and, and patches, the stem cells are undifferentiated cells that they can yes. become a heart cell or a liver cell or a lung cell, or they can go to any tissue and become that cell to repair whatever damage was done. And the company tells us, the CEO, David Schmidt said, that give it one month for every decade of your life. Yes. So you reactivate all the stem cells, right? So yes. this is an amazing technology. It's very simple. I always tell people, just like the faith in Christ is so simple and some people make it into such a complicated thing. Yes. It's simple. 
So yeah. it's a very simple technology. It's basically frequency and it's energy and light. And light. So uh, that incites biochemical reactions within our body that we have innate healing mechanisms in us already. Yes. And this is a tiny tool that will make your own cells to activate. So this is amazing. Richard, I wanted to ask you something real quick. You mentioned before we came on, and I know you're kind of early in your study on this, but I found it so fascinating. You were talking about linen and light and of course the similarities between x39 because x39 is using your own body's light uh reflecting it back in the body to excite the copper peptides etc my wife's the biologist so she understands all that no. for me i just memorize what she says and then i become the parent <laughs> and i just kind of repeat it that's so, all right that's all right that's what i do I can you yeah can you share that with us about the linen again because that was just so fascinating yeah you know we're really learning so much about the body and energy. And, you know, there's the term qi, which is basically the Chinese word for our energy within our system. But when you think about it, we're at 98.6. People don't think about that. We have energy. We have light and heat running through our body. And our body has these mechanisms. For example, I took a sauna today, 160 degree air, breathing that in. What happens? Your body reacts to that. It responds to that. It elevates your respiration and your heart rate and your circulation. And it produces sweat right? But it's the mechanisms within your body. Just like when we go into the sun, it elevates our vitamin D levels. So there are certain things when we can stimulate our the, 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 the skin, uh, we can harness the body's own energy and reflect it back in, which is obviously what the patch does. It reflects that back into the system. So linen, a good friend of mine told me the other day, she, I, I gave them some patches. We're, we're, you know, introducing it to them. And she said, oh yeah, the Bible talks about the healing cloth, which is linen. So I start digging down the line. I'm like, linen, what's it made of? It's made with flaxseed. And, and when it's woven together, it has, it reflects at a super high rate. So, uh, so my, what I'm learning again, <laughs> forgive me, I'm just scratching the surface, but we're reflecting our own body's energy in. And this is why linen is referred to as the healing cloth. And, and you guys can do your, I encourage everyone to do some research on that and what it says. It's one, it's one more piece of the puzzle that keeps coming together. It's like, whoa, this is, this is just God's energy, the universe's energy. It's the sunlight energy. It's photosynthesis within our body. It's cellular activity, restorative properties that is innate within our system that aren't always tapped into, you know, instead of a needle, a drug, a pill, or surgery or surgery it's you no know, your body has miraculous things it can do we want to take care of our body as well but when i saw that linen it's like wow man one more puzzle piece together that it shows when you look at linen i encourage everyone that it re it reflects at a super super high rate and and so please go ahead no i just want to share something just piggybacking off what yana said and kind of what rich said in regards to like again this is a tool OK, all of the patches, they're just a tool. We know that if we get good sleep, we keep our stress levels low, we eat well, we exercise and we use our supplementation. And to me, this is just another supplement. OK, so I use vitamin D. I use all sorts of supplements, you know, omegas and things like that. But to me, X39 is a supplement for my body. So yeah. that's another piece of what we call those pillars of wellness. That's what it is. Now, d like, can you put a patch on and it will work? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Positively without changing anything. Okay. Yeah. But imagine if you took one of those little things at a time, like started, you know, maybe waking up a little bit earlier, getting your stress, you know, management in, meaning maybe that's some prayer exercise. work for you, then getting some exercise in, making sure that you do get a good amount of sleep. And so little habits at a time, along with the X39 or along with any of the other patches. Yep. Listen, like it's game changing. You're, you're harnessing your body systems. I'm reading yeah. a book called Ikigai right now. It's, it studies these blue zones. It's a Japanese term about just uh, purpose within life. And it shows that these people who live to be 100, what are they doing? Well, certainly a lot of it is nutrition. They have moderate exercise. It's interesting. They all garden. They all have a garden. Um, uh, you know, taking good care of the health, exercising. And you know what's super important too is community, that they have a sense of community and interaction. You know, again, we were talking before the show about 
you know, anything that separates people is not to me. It's just my personal belief that if something separates people, it's not of God. And right. we see this, we see the division that's, that happens within the world. And it's like, and I know I, we worked in media. We understand media. I worked for executives in the, at the top of the food chain, if you'd say, and I know how it works. And, and when, you know, when you can control that and, and so when we can unify people and share the positive news and the good news about health and wellness and Just something like, what like my shirt says, <laughs> right? Yeah, keep love is love. my religion. Keep loving, ev Just keep loving love everyone people. and sharing with them the things like this that are, that are, I uh, say, this is Out of love. The ordinary, you know. <laughs> this is love. You share that. You know, sharing is yeah. caring about somebody for it, sure. Because exactly. You, shared, you know it because, like, like who? Um, I think you said Manuel, right? Shared with yes. you. Yes. I I was able to meet Manuel uh, months and months ago, along with Ashley. Um, I did a Zoom call for them, and um, you know, but all pretty skeptical back then. But when I heard that he basically sent you guys patches to share with yeah. you because of some stuff that he knew you guys were going through. I was like, that is love. Like yes. that's what I did. I took, a, I did the diamond pack as well. And I, I sent 30 packages to people. Cause I said, you have to try this. I want your honest opinion. Cause my Northeasterners, they're very skeptical and stuff. So I was just like, just try it. Just tell me, you know, just tell me it's as good as I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I want to know. Sharing and is caring. Sharing is caring. <laughs> so um, I'm just, I'm blessed Manuel had shared that with you guys. Because... Yeah, and we were the hardest people to deal with. We were like yeah. really hardest people, but very skeptical. We... I was in the heights of my PTSD and I was totally not being believer at all about the little yeah. band-aid, you know, and- um, That's what I called it too. Yeah. Band-aid's really gonna help, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I yeah mean, we, I did, we didn't like, take the time. And, yeah. you know, John Moore was on John, I was on John's show the other day. And of course I go I go there every week. We have a thing called the, uh, the, the round table. And we do a lot of the intelligence guys go together and we, not that I'm, we're intelligent, we're probably all dummies, but- uh, <laughs> We bring in the different intelligence backgrounds that we come from, and we share different geopolitical issues that are happening in the world. Well, John decided to take and start sharing the the X39 and the, the different products of LifeWave, uh, the hour uh, the, right before we start our program there. And, uh, and so last week, he goes like this. He said, Steve, he said, I've never in my life seen you so excited about a product uh, then I do see, see you with this. He said, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, other than EMP Shield, you've never promoted a product either. I said, I never have. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I said, that's what people don't get. You know, I, you know, yes. Can you make money with this? Sure, you can. Uh, you know, uh, could you, you, you can do a little bit. You can do, you can do as much as you want, depending on how you go. I said, but the thing is, I said, what's driving me, John, I said, I'm watching lives change. Yeah. I said, the more people that watch our program, that's the reason why we even put post at least once a week on Israeli News Live, is this is not about money. This is about, I know that it's going to help somebody if they try it, you know? And yeah. some people go, oh, it's a pyramid scheme. I'm, I'm like, wait a minute. You could be a doctor, have a doctor's office, and you can just promote this only uh, as as for your patients just and like just an make commissions only just like you do with any other product you have there. But will your patients start to realize that, Oh, I could be a distributor too and make a little bit and want to share it. Sure. They will. And by default, you may get involved in network marketing. I said, but David Schmidt, what I liked about him was when he said the reason he chose network marketing, he said, because if my product is just sitting on the shelf in a pharmacy and you walk by it, no one will ever understand the product. He said it takes people that have learned about it, that have experienced it, to be able to share what they've experienced and that can tell about the product. He said, that's what will make it go. And he says, because I want to help people in the millions. And that's what drives you. It's you, And, and then we get all these testimonies. I mean, we've had people with Parkinson's call us up that started using it going, I'm, I'm already changing, you know? And I know that the product, that Dave's got a one product for animals, but I cheated, I tried it on the cat. The cat doesn't get a placebo effect, but it helped the cat, all right? I just have to tell you the truth. So, you know, so forget the placebo effect because the cat don't get placebo, 
you know, right. and now the cat can jump on the bed where the cat couldn't jump on the bed right. before. And she has like neurological illness and she could not jump at all. She just was living on the floor, basically. Mm -hmm. So uh, she, she hit, weren't on the yes. bed. It was, you would, you know it because you could hear it. Yeah, she was yep. clawing herself all up. the way to the top. And now, now she, she runs, jumps, jumps. Boom, she's on the bed. Right. That, that, that is unbelievable. Those neurological well, changes are super, super impactful. And we have to be careful about not making medical claims, but when we understand the bioelectrical system within our body and we know things right. that are that would improve by better electrical conductivity within our body, it yeah. all starts to make sense. The signaling within our body, the signals are, I'm learning from David Schmidt. I'm blown away by the things that he's taught us but you know that this bioelectrical system it's just it signals and i believe as i understand it's it's a lot of it is is uh it's almost like laser like um light signals within the body pulses of light and so right. uh it triggers those systems and it's you know you mentioned the, the the symptoms of things like that we definitely see people who are in the category of autoimmune dysfunction yeah. but we can't make any medical claims related to right. that but right. over and over and over, you see symptom reduction because of things like inflammation reduction, electrical conductivity, right. signaling, communication, synapses. When I see about nerve outgrowth, when I look at the data on nerve outgrowth, yes. I'm I'm blown away. So and vascular our, health and, and vascular health. So my our biology minds. When I hear someone say photobiomodulation, I'm like, yes, someone's looking at the science. But <laughs> the stories are what the stories are what does it. You know, you put that yes. attachment people put it on hey i'll talk to you in a couple of days and and like you said before we're basically we want to bless people and then help them bless people that we know and love right and then help them bless people that they know and love and when you do that two or three times this is the beauty of this business we've been in that we we've been in now 14 years in the direct sales or direct marketing we understand that it's just it's just a way it's the way the greatest movements in the world were done. Christ said, go out in twos mm -hmm. and we just yes. go, we share. And, and this is just more of that, of the elevation of, of just caring with people we know. And it, it just keeps going. It grows, you know, you do it two or three, four times and all of a sudden, wait a sec, there's 500 people who are doing this now. Well, and you I'll know, use so. your, the example of your show. Your show didn't start off with a half a million viewers. No. People told people told right. people told people told people because they love your show because the content that you give is so real and relevant and it comes right from the Bible. Yeah. So and that's God's word. You or divine. Divine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it is the divine word of God and he doesn't lie. So when people share that with people, like that's how it is. Our personal training business, we never advertise in our life. We've always had clients. We've never advertised because people tell people, tell people, tell people. And, and that's, that's the only, that's exactly. what this is. People are telling people about it's, these it's, products, about the results they're getting. Your cat, what a great example. Like, I'm going to start using that example, yeah. right? Because yeah. you, right, you, your cat can't be like, like, yeah, yeah, it's working, you know? Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, I love it. Uh, thank you for the patch. <laughs> yeah, I love In fact, yeah, if anything, when she sees me coming with it, she's going the other way. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, right. Really word of mouth us. business on scale. Word of word of mouth business yes. on scale. And as you know, we we make scriptural reference, but like we said earlier before the show, we we reach people all over the world of different faiths and religions. I love speaking to people of different faiths. I we learn every yes. time we we do. Every time we go somewhere and in the world, he always and, goes into like a, a mosque or he just he wants to know. He wants to learn. I like, want to learn. You know, what is it you believe? What is it really? You know, we because because we shouldn't be divided. Yeah, we That's can't. Right. There's one God. Yeah, we That's can't it. rely on them. We can't really rely on the outlets no. for that. And we well, need you know, to. And just, yeah, I just want to say this and go to you. No, and then we realize we're more. Whenever we do, I'm like, I realize we are so much more connected than every anybody realize. Everyone thinks we're all left right. You know, I'm like, it's, it's not God's plan. So when you go ahead, yeah, yeah, yes, I'm sorry. I, no, I just I, wanted to say, just like you mentioned, that uh, Christianity started with. Jesus and Bob Apostles, and yep. then they were sent to the world. And so that's, uh, you know, speaking gospel, reaching people is network marketing. It's it, just, it, right. you know, it's a lot in twos. Right, exactly. So uh, this is why David Schmidt gave it to the common folks and not, you know, we don't want big pharma grabbing anything like that because, um, 
I was telling one nurse who called this a gimmick, right? Because she never looked into it. She never even opened up anything on photobiomodulation. And they are taught as uh, uh, in school as, you know, big pharma teaches them that these are the tools that they give doctors. And, uh, you know, all my respect to good doctors because we do need yes. allopathic medicine in certain Absolutely. cases. So, uh, of course, if you have appendicitis, you go and 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 take care of that with the doctor with the surgeon so mm -hmm. you don't uh you don't play around so that's very good but on the other hand uh we know that big pharma has failed us it failed us in especially in the area of uh chronic illnesses mm -hmm. and a lot of those drugs are petroleum based and for example just now one diabetic drug metformin was recalled, but, uh, it, it was recalled because, well, it wasn't recalled in USA, but they had a, um, they were sued because it was found out that they, metformin contains carcinogenic um, substances and they have knowingly withheld it from people. So what they're doing is that they're feeding these diabetics metformin and assuring that 10 years later, they are going to be cancer patients. And so, you know, when you find out things like this, then you might want to talk to those nurses and ask them, oh, look at this case of metformin and other drugs that are hurting people. And then look into photobiomodulation, you know, mm -hmm. look into the tools that encourage your innate healing of your body. So that's, that's all I wanted to kind of talk about right now, because this is very important because you're going to meet some negative people. So how do you deal with that? Well, education is the key. Right, right. Absolutely. We well, know you guys are going to have to run soon, so we don't want to hold you much longer, but we definitely would like to come back, pick this up with you guys again. And, uh, but what, any, any closing comments you would like to make? Oh, water. Can you talk a little bit about water that how important it is to drink while you are on the, on those patches? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to share one thing because you were just talking about doctors and listen, I love doctors. My dad actually was a pharmacist. We had our own pharmacy for 35 years as a family, but he was all about supplementation. He couldn't stand how people were on so many different drugs, but you're right. Like that's, that's what it is. The doctor's are doing this to us. It's not. And when I say doctors, listen, there are good doctors, but one of the things is they go to school for disease care. Yes. They don't go to school for healthcare. What Rich and I have always said is we're healthcare. Personal trainers, people who are in the prevention field are healthcare. They are disease care. You don't go to the doctor because you feel good. You go to the doctor because something is wrong. And we right? need that. And they're yeah. practicing us. That's why I say they're, 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 their offices are called a practice. It's a doctor's practice. I'm like, they're practicing on us, right? So anyway, yeah. with that That's said, right. yeah. Water, super, super, super duper important. Uh, not only H2O, because that's what water is, but electrolytes. Yes. And so that's even more important. Sodium, potassium, and magnesium. Those are your top three electrolytes. And I say that because your cells need to be hydrated for this patch to work at its best. So that's all I will say. I'll tell even anybody who's ready to try it and is going to try it from Steve and Yana, um, start hydrating before you even get on the patch. Get yourself super hydrated because if you feel a little bit more dry in the mouth, maybe um, you feel a little nauseous, maybe you're getting a little bit of a headache, that's okay. Just say that's good. Because what that means is that your body is doing something. It is doing something to you. So don't think that's bad because it's just kind of a detox effect. But if you're a little bit more hydrated, you may not get those effects. You still may. You still may for the first three days. But um, I never got those effects. I got a little bit more dry in the mouth. But then I was like, okay, I got it. And I use a product um, that's called Rehydrate that that gives me the sodium, the tap, potassium, magnesium. One of the things that people don't understand too is um, you your heart works on a sodium pump. Um, and so you need that to keep that heart healthy. And since this helps at that cellular level, like it is just like number one, first thing you check off is, yep, did I drink water? Did I wake up in the morning? Did I suck down some water first thing in the morning, um, even before I put those patches on? So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that happened to me, by the way, too. I had dry mouth when I started <laughs> patches, literally dry mouth. And I realized is I'm dehydrated and a little bit of headache was a de detox Hoxheimer's effect, which actually proves that patches work. Exactly. And, and then there are raising antioxidants in your body and those effects will disappear just drink electrolytes and water and that means that your patches are working so 
uh, very good. Absolutely. And then that's the key is just to try them, you know, the, the especially yeah. the David knows is, you know, with the money back guarantee for customers at 90 days and for, yes. for the people who want to, who want to go and coach some other people, 30 days, it's just to put the patches on and let, let it work, let it do its thing. And it's, even if we don't feel it, it's definitely doing thing internally within our body. It's elevating those, those, mm -hmm. those, those cellular it's increasing the cellular activity to create that healing. So it's just, it's an, it's a no brainer just to start. I've said it my whole so life, simple. like whether it's even just another supplement, I'm like, just try it. Yeah. You have nothing to lose. Like yeah. when you take away, like when you say it's 90 day money back guarantee for a customer, it's like, when you take away the risk, yep. you add so much value. Right. Like what company gives a 90 day money back guarantee? I've never heard of it in my life in no. anything I've ever done. Right. Because they know Somebody is going to feel something within the first 30, 60, 90 days. And even yeah. my dad, as a pharmacist, he always used to say anything I tried or something new that I was going to try. He said, give it 90 days, yeah. give it 90 days, not 30, not like, isn't your health worth more than 90 days? I yeah. mean, that's right. That's healthy. exactly right. Right. Absolutely. And you have a lot of viewers and, you know, you, you guys are great at providing the resource for people, whether it's a QR code or a link, they can just click on that and they can get themselves set up and, and then just try it. And we just really look forward to uh, to following up with you and, yeah. and helping and answer further questions. It would, we'd love to do something. Uh, I'm not sure. I believe you do some shows where you have more, that you are live with interaction and things like that. We'd love to come on. We and do. Be able to, time. Yeah. yeah. And, and help yeah. and help, you know, hey, our goal is to help you help others. You know, that yeah. that's how it succeeds. And, and uh and we know that we're going to reach a lot of people and really make some dramatic uh, impacts in people's lives, you know, in so many different ways. And so, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's any, if you had any other questions or anything for us that, or anything that uh, we'd, you know, love to share. You, you always want to keep it simple. We, I'm excited about science, but you just really want to keep it simple. The products work, put the patch on, hydrate, and then follow up. <laughs> and that's really a key. But is there, I don't know if there's any of the questions you guys have. One thing we, we will do, those of you that are watching, if you want to post in the comments here, let us know if you have questions as well uh, for me and Rich. We will definitely get back and we'll do another broadcast. And next time we'll go live. And uh, that way you can ask. We'll get the moderators in there because we know we'll get a million questions at one time. Uh, but we'll get the moderators in there, find out what your questions are for them. And, uh, and and hopefully we could do this maybe uh, next month and, uh, and and get your personal thoughts, what you would like to know uh, about this these amazing products here. And we want to thank you guys for taking the time out with us tonight. Uh, I know you got a busy schedule uh, ahead of you. And, uh, and so thank you so much for taking that time out to be with us today. Thank you. Well, you know, thank you so much, you two. We we are so grateful, um, you know, to be on, and um, and we just uh, we look forward to the future. Yeah, thank and you. yeah, really, thank you. We we just you know looking for the opportunity to serve and help you guys, and uh, just to be able to come and do that. Know you're reaching a lot of people. We, we know that it's uh, it, this is going to bless a lot of people, and we're just uh, we're just grateful for the opportunity to be here. Look, the journey. Look forward to coming back, and excited to be on the journey with you folks, and and uh, with your with your tribe. And, and I know that we're all going to teach each other. It's going to be, it'll, it's a great road ahead. So we're grateful. Thanks for having yeah. us on. To be continued. <laughs> to be, <there> you <laughs> go. To be continued. Thank you. The guys you've been watching Israeli news live, Stephen Yana Banoon with uh, Mia and Richard uh, Finnegan. Thank you. And God bless you. God bless. We'll see you.